Okay. Now we're going to talk about something that I know you're totally ignorant about. And uh, I say ignorance is bliss, right? Uh, most people are ignorant about this fact. Um, the most popular video out of 2,000. The most popular video. It's not about photography. That I have put on YouTube is a video about getting data off of your hard drive and there's a part in there called a SATA bridge and this is not a video about that I have myself personally yeah you believe it or not I own over 200 hard drives and that's not even counting the like 80 or so dead ones I mean I got like a, a drawer over here full of hard drive magnets <laughs> you know I get bored I'll take them apart you know watch news or something like that I'll take uh, dead hard drives apart um, I did tech support for Apple and uh, tech support for another group. I would get the most horrible calls you could possibly imagine. Every one of you out there, and I mean this generally, you suffer, and you know, don't take this personally, you suffer this horrible stupidity about hard drives. You think, oh my god, I got a hard drive. And <laughs> you. <laughs> I've had phone calls from people like, listen, I just, I got a wife and two kids. I just lost my job because I just lost 10 years of the business's data. Please, God, help me. If you, now there's a recovery uh, software out there for, uh, you know, trying to, and it's not always successful, recovering your data off of hard drive. If the hard drive is dead or if it's had head crash, I mean, you'll, you'll, it'll cost you a fortune. To ship that hard drive off and have the uh, data extracted, that is, if they can extract it. Now, listen up. <clears throat> Here is a unique situation, and uh, right in front of you now, meaning me, is a guy that literally wrote the book on magnetism, uh, combined with someone that has been answering tech support calls for decades at three different businesses, and I actually wrote the article for it for Apple. You can see the link below. You can read about the difference between backups versus archives and true archival data protection. People's, and then I'm going to talk about optical disks here in a second. And now that I mention optical disks, there's going to be some moron out there that's watching this video and is like, optical disks, they dead. I hate burning optical. You know, I hate to exercise too, but it hurts my health that I don't exercise like I used to. There's a lot of stuff we don't like to do. Let me tell you something. Uh, listen the hell up. I have been working so, so hard for over, oh God, well over 20 years collecting data. You think I've got a lot of uh, camera lenses? Oh my God, I've got so much data, hardcore data. My main collection of data is uh, just over 40, 40, 40 what? Gigabytes? terabytes 40 terabytes spread over a lot of drives or spread over servers in different countries I can't burn that on the DVD now the core collection of stuff that I work so hard for a lot of that is information I amassed from other people it's on science and metaphysics and lots of stuff I've 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 scanned in these multi hundred year old books I scanned in one book that's been out of print now for over 300 years and then I reissued it in ISBN number and then I republished it because the last time it was printed was in 1742. Um, I have got stuff that I've worked so hard on for you, you think I'm gonna piss that away by entrusting it on a, a hard drive? Do you know it doesn't matter which hard drive you buy, it doesn't matter if you buy a Hitachi, uh, a Seagate, a Western Digital which is the worst by the way and Western Digital now owns Hitachi but they've not completely combined into one company yet or Toshiba there's really only four major hard drive manufacturers on Earth. All of those undergo ferromagnetic depolarization within a period of six to ten years. It means if you buy the most expensive, the most reliable, like a, there is a fine grade of Western Digital hard drives. They're a black grade. Uh, they're called Western Digital Black. They're server grade hard drives. Um, even if you buy that and put your data on there and stick it in a humidity and temperature control vault, it will undergo depolarization. Your data will be just, it will self-destruct on itself. Now these are archival DVDs. Uh, I'm going to give you a link below to, I have no connection to him, okay? 
My point is, is that I'm not talking about you burning all your photographs or burning all your data on there, but like stuff that you wouldn't even dare think of ever losing under any circumstances. You know, and I keep hearing people piss and whine. They always say the same stupid stuff. Like, I don't like burning discs. You know, that's ancient technology. <clears throat> you know what the answer for that is? I mean, I always hear that answer, and I when I I'd even get angry with people when I do the ample uh, the Apple tech support. I wouldn't say it in this exact way, but I, I'd say uh, not in this. way. I'd say it in a real friendly way. I said, "Listen, stupid. You know, you show me another form of data storage that you can like throw it away in a hole." and then come back uh, 20 years later and the data will guaranteed to still be there. You mentioned to me another means of data storage other than optical and then I will concede your point. And the answer that there is not one. It doesn't frigging exist. Um, now like some large uh, storage, this tape, 3M by the way, people think, oh my god, tape storage, right? Um, for hardcore amounts of uh, data, and mostly it's just files and irrelevant BS that companies produce, 3M still makes ta uh, tape. Uh, remember the old uh, ferrite coated tape? That actually, that stuff once it's written to, actually lasts a really long time as long as it's temperature and humidity controlled. It is insanely huge, insanely expensive, and insanely cumbersome. So that's not a true consumer level storage medium. Tape is still a thing because if you store it in the proper sort of humidity, and, but that you're talking about some hardcore money, and it's only business level, like big business level. If you think, you know, I'm 43 years old, you think I'm going to piss away half of my damn life, even though, even though I own over 200 hard drives, and that's a damn fact. If you want to drop by my house, I'll show you over 200 hard drives. I don't mean dead ones, I mean working ones. If you think I'm going to trust my data that I've spent 20 years collecting and creating and organizing onto uh, 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 basically hand grenades that self-destruct, which is a hard drive, then, then you're an idiot. And there are all these people that used to contact me all that says, Oh my God, my data's gone. People, and then you're going to think, well, I've not got the data on my computer, and then I've got a backup. No, no, you think you're safe? You're, 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 you're a fool. You're not safe then either. No, 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 no. There's also an issue with uh, migrating errors and uh, also issues uh, with uh, copy uh, cloning of data. There's a whole list. And check the article below that I wrote that's still up on Apple's website as far as you understanding protecting your data. Uh, but yeah, the most popular video I have in the world are people that just had like one copy of their desk. Like, I got an external hard drive, it's safe there. And then when the SATA bridge card, it's usually not the hard drive that fails. Nine times out of ten when your hard drive fails, it's not the hard drive. It's a bridge card, it's called a SATA bridge card. And you have to crack open your hard drive and remove it and stick it into another casing or a dock. And I get all these emails every week. People like, oh my God, you saved my bacon. You saved me. You saved me. I stuffed my... I was like, never let that happen again. A true professional, someone that knows what the hell a hard drive does. And a hard drive is one of the most evil instruments on earth because it will destroy your data in a heartbeat. And, you know, it'll be gone. You're screwed. And you've lost years worth of work. People think, well, you know, I've got one copy. Listen, if you made 10 copies of your data, it's like, well, you know, I've got 10 copies. You know, Bob's got a copy and I've got five copies. Okay. You leave that in your safe for five to six years under perfect ideal conditions of temperature and humidity. The data will still self destruct on itself. You know, those Mission Impossible things where the tape will blow up at the end of the tape? That is exactly what the hell each and every damn hard drive on Earth ever made by Hitachi, Toshiba, Western Digital, Seagate. They all self-destruct. And so the next time someone tells me, you know, a pissy comment like, well, nobody burns DVDs anymore. It's old technology. Well, uh, uh, okay, listen up. Listen up, doofus. Facebook... Uh, a couple years back, a few years back, invested millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars into these hugely designed Blu-ray uh, data burning uh, devices uh, for 
putting uh, cold storage of data. Do you know why? Because they know the exact same thing that I know. That if you think your data is safe on any hard drive, then you're, you're a fool. People are like, well, I'm going to stick it on the cloud. What do you think a cloud is? What do you think a server farm is? There is no such thing as a cloud. A cloud is an anonymous off-site server farm full of a bunch of hard drives. Electromagnetic pulse will destroy it. Ferromagnetic depolarization will destroy it. Your data is... Uh, listen, I'm not going to piss away 20 years of my life that, I mean, I worked hard. Hard. My main data collection that I created is a bit over uh, 5 terabytes. The one that I worked really, 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 really hard on. And not only have I got multiple copies of that on multiple hard drives, I've got it on various servers around the world, but I have the very, very, very most important part of it, which is about uh, 3 terabytes on uh, optical archival media. You should spend like 50 or 60 bucks for a 100 pack of these. Okay, now there's new discs. They're called M-Discs, and they actually have a mineral layer for writing your data. This is a, a burner tower. You like stick in a main disc here. You don't need one of these. This is just an awesome device that I have. They make these in like 1 to 10s, which has like one disc you stick in, and it makes 10 copies at the same time. I only needed a 1 to 3. I stick in one disc, and it burns three copies at the same time. So this is a burner tower. No, not of copyrighted stuff, just data collections, okay? I've got a lot of hardcore data that I've been working on collecting for easily 20 years, but really more than 20 years. And it's not safe on a hard drive. Um, the most intelligent statement ever said about a hard drive, and this is by a person that designed them, it's like, the more you understand about how a hard drive works and what it is, the more you're amazed they even work at all. Uh, I've been contacted thousands and thousands and thousands of times by people that have lost their data. And, you know, they just, it's just, not only did they not have an additional hard drive, which hard drives are cheaper than dirt now. It's like, well, you know, what is, what is five years worth of your life worth? You know, is it worth like an additional $60 hard drive? People just like, well, I just lost five years worth of work. It's like, how many copies of that data did you have? Well... I had one copy on the computer and it crashed. I was like, okay, but that's not a copy. Anything on your computer does not count as a copy of your data. There's a lot of reasons why, okay, and that's just not my premise. It's the philosophy of data preservation, backups, and archives. And then I went to go to my uh, my, my backup hard drive and it turns out that it had crashed. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. So you just pissed away five years worth of your life for lack of like an additional $60 hard drive. But hard drives aside, how many copies you got still doesn't matter. I'm not talking about burning the world or burning all your pictures on the DVDs. I'm not talking about that. I'm not. I'm saying the crap that you were like, holy shit, I can't lose this data under any circumstances, period, whatever. Oh my, I mean, there's just, this is the important stuff that, you know, this crap cannot be lost. This is what you buy a pack of archival. I'm not talking regular DVDs you get at like Best Buy. That crap is good for like six to ten years. Man, at the most, they're perfectly stored twice as long as a hard drive. Let's say 14 years. The cyano, uh, uh, write, read, uh, read, write layer uh, degrades. You know, they're junk. Those are consumer grade. These are archival. These are guaranteed to last no less than a hundred years. This is just one variety. Okay, I'll point you to a website. I have no connection to it. If you buy anything there, I don't make a damn dime. There's a new uh, type of disc. I said it's called an M disc, and they're rated for a thousand years. They have a mineral layer. This, you know how seriously the army and paramilitary and uh, government groups around the world take data protection. They have invested heavily into MDISC. They've done a lot of testing and like advanced aging. And uh, government uh, entities around the world are investing in MDISC for data that is just like, it is, this stuff is not for your everyday data. This is for that holy shit data. It's like, I cannot lose this for any reason whatsoever, period, ever, 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 ever. That is what you buy these for. So anybody, and, and every time I mention DVDs, 
I end up with these idiot, stupid, dumbass comments like, I don't like burning DVDs, that's ancient technology, you know, and I, and I just say, you know, you know, your data on a perfect hard drive in the perfect condition is screwed within 10 years. You, you stick it in a safe, perfect humidity and temperature, you know, it's screwed. It will self-destruct. Ferromagnetic depolarization. I wrote the book on magnetism, honey, you know, honey. You know, don't tell me about how much you hate burning DV. You know, I hate exercising. There's a lot. I hate going to the dentist. You do stuff because it has a value to it. So I don't, I don't want to hear a comment from anybody. But I don't want to DVD. Well, fine. That really, really important data that you spent years uh, collecting and organizing, just let it self-destruct and go away like a fart in the damn wind because you thought it was safe on a hard drive. You know, if you think that, then you're dumb. I've got lots of copies of my important data. I own over 200 hard drives. You want to stop by? I'll show you over 200 hard drives. My data is not safe there. That's why I have it scattered everywhere. I have people that have copies of my data. Okay, so no matter what happens to me, my data is still there, accessible by a lot of people. But the really, really important stuff, I've got burned onto this. Because this stuff is guaranteed to last no less than 100 years. And if you get into M-Disc, M is, you know, means a thousand. It's a Roman numeral for a thousand. means it's designed to last a thousand years. I don't care if it only lasts 500 and their rating is off. I mean, that's still at 500. You know, you're talking about five, six years on a hard drive versus 500 years on an M-Disc. Five years versus five. And you're not going to be around for 500 years, right? But if it's really, really important stuff, you know, stuff I'm going to stick in a fire vault, it's like I could stick it in there for 20 years, and if I need, it will still be there. You can't do that with any damn hard drive. No hard drive on earth can you do. I'm going I'm to write it to this hard drive. I'm going to stick it in the safe, and it'll still be there like five, six. No, it won't. Part of it will be corrupt, or all of it will be corrupt. Hard drives self-destruct. That's not my opinion, feeling, or belief. It's a hardcore damn fact. Because I am a god when it comes to knowing about how the hell hard drives work and what their decline rate is. I know about infant mortality of hard drives. I know about the rates of the ferromagnetic depolarization. I, you know, I've taken apart thousands of hard drives, and I own over 200 hard drives. You're talking to the god of hard drives here. But I still don't trust them for my important data. Gotta have some archival quality stuff, okay? If you don't like this video, fine. I'm trying to help you. Because I can't stand to see people lose their data. And they do because of stupidity. Thanks. Bye.